Welcome back to another episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge, where we're doing some poster and snow globe hunting. I know we're not in the point where we actually really need that, but there's a reason for this, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, I mean, technically speaking, this should be Scheherazade doing this for reasons, but uh, she's at work, and she's going to be home at 9, and she's going to be exhausted. And uh, he's doing pretty good, so... Ooh, are you are you thick, sir? Do you have some indigestion? Well, put a pin in that really quick because we got some place to go. So let's travel. The kids will be fine for like 20 minutes. This isn't going to take that long. Well, here we are. I remembered this time that we're going to the graveyard. So uh, he brought... He brought them. Mabaru. Um, and I decided to oh, leave us a skull a offering or whatever that thing is here on uh, Paolo's. Shazzle gonna browse decided. the web. All right. Well, we we left we left a thing. Success. Uh, the ancestors have heard his call and sent a Day of the Dead doll to roam the neighborhood. Wait, what? Hmm. Wait. Sent a Day of the Dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. Okay. I don't know what that means, um, but yeah, this is the graveyard we built. We saw this a, a while ago when um, when our our, oh, our heavenly landlord passed away and we brought him here because he died at our wedding. Um, well, Seraphina's wedding. Um, so uh, Paolo is here, but you'll notice um, Seraphina ain't around anywhere. Um, that's because we have a special place for our deceased found our, our deceased members of the family like there's this nice little area in here but secretly underneath we have what is going to eventually fill up it's these little like little cubicles here and um here is where seraphina's final resting place actually is so the idea here is that each of these little cubicles uh will eventually hold the remains of our heirs and um, be something a little bit about him. That's why we had him go out and collect some posters and snow globes. Because uh, I feel like her whole thing was posters and snow globes. She even got a little award for the, the posters and snow globes cleanup in the neighborhood. And of course, Jingle Queen. So we have left a keyboard here for her in her memory. And here she is, Seraphina Grimm, founder of the family. And uh, yeah... Um, I, I probably should put like a staircase and see I've got I've got the cheat on to be able to actually like access being able to build on lots like this. So let me really quick just toss a set of stairs in. Alright, that's better. Now we actually have a staircase leading down here. And I did a little bit of a little bit of editing. I realized I didn't actually have a floor in, so whoops on me. Um but uh, I did put a little carpet in, so this is this is now Serafina's final resting place area. Let me just that. Oh, let's go back into the game, actually, so we can see it. So this is now her final resting place. Let's have him come on down here and just, you know, uh, really quick, give her a mourn. Because if you go upstairs, did I, I, I did, I can't, I didn't put a door in. <laughs> I built this little dish on the back side of it. Um, it's not exactly pretty in there, but, uh, oh, hold on one second again. I love that Kengo was doing all this for his mother-in-law while his wife is at work. It's like, she's got too much stress going on. I mean, she's going to have a baby and again. This upper section is not all that pretty, but uh, what can we do? What can we do? I do like the, the twisty stairs leading down into the, the, the grim crypt, as we shall call this. So yeah, here she is now, finally, in her final resting place. And right now he's standing where his wife will eventually will eventually be. It's like this will eventually be like right down the line, like one, two, three, four, right on down with their own little backdrop and so on and so forth. And uh, I know it's sad. Just think you're standing where your wife's eventually going to be. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of grim, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good thing this is the grim family. <laughs> Let's go home. All right, now we are finally home, and the kids are really depressed. Okay, let's see what they need. Oh, well, he needs to go to the potty, which is fine, because potty is right here from... He's sad from from parent not being around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to... I had to take your... Your dead... Your dead... Take off clothes? No! Oh, she could take off clothes. Okay, well... 
He's going to come in here. Really, actually, he's going to really quick take a potty break. And then we will come in here and we will uh, parenting teach to say please and thank you. Why not? Why not? It's like we had to take your, your dead grandma and grandpa away because they kept breaking our shit. So, I'm sorry. Mommy was still at work. Yeah, when mommy comes back, mommy is going to be a lot of things. Mommy is going to be very, very tired and very, very hungry. And she's about to come back. So let's really quick. There's no more leftovers. Shoot. Um, she's just going to really quick grab some milk and go to bed. Because <laughs> she's going to pass out. She's definitely going to pass out. Which means, guess what, Daddy? You're on kitty duty. So the idea here is that we're going to try and, like, give our kids different things that they are skilled at. So, like, Briar Rose, we're teaching to say please and thank you. And then after that, we're going to teach Peter to say sorry. Maybe. Possibly. We're giving it a try. Looks like it. Okay, so then she can go back to playing with her tablet. So, like, she is getting her manners up while he is getting his conflict resolution up, which is a good thing. Which, I mean, being that he's Peter Pan, I mean, that, that would be a good thing to teach him. I mean, Peter Pan did, as a child, cut off a, a, an old man's hand and feed it to a crocodile. Oh, who was that just died? Um, some person I don't know. Okay. Wait, wait, what? What? And he's angry from being te taught. Oh, there is no pleasing this kid. Um, what about teach to talk? Let's try teaching him to talk. See if that helps him any. This kid is just a pain in my bootay. How long until he ages up into a kid? Oh, that's, that's Kengo. He ages up in one day. Okay, good. So he'll be a child by the time the next group of kids come along, which is good. I keep saying kids, thinking that, I mean, I did use fertility, so I'm thinking she's probably going to have multiples. Maybe? Possibly? Uh, we'll see. Alright, so his, his anger is going down. He's getting over the fact that he was, he was taught some conflict resolution. Which is a good thing. What's he, he, he's, he likes learning words, and it's almost his birthday. I mean, technically speaking, we could get him a cake right now. We could get him a cake. Maybe if we have time in the next episode, we will make him a cake and we will age him up into a kid just in time for the new baby. Babies? Don't know yet. Okay, so he's feeding Briar Rose and he needs to eat as well too. So go. he's going to go head on downstairs and cook some food because there is no food in the house. There hasn't been time for either of our sims to actually make meals. So he needs to go and do that. So there's actually food hanging around. Let's go and um, have dinner. Um, let's, ha let's have him actually cook tofu ta tacos. So that way then there's like actual food in the house. So that his wife can eat as well too. I guess he probably should have let Briar Rose out. Because now she's going to get... Uh oh. Oh, she's using her diaper. Can't stop that now. And she looks, she's a promise. I'm like, I'm pooping in my pants. Actually, could we wake mommy up? We could wake mommy up and have mommy let her out. Because mommy is very, very hungry as well. Why is she not able to get to her? Let her out. I don't know why they're so glitchy. Babies are so glitchy and... There's more on the way, so woohoo! Okay, so how is she? She's good on everything, so she will just go and she will play with her Blick Blocks and Mommy's gonna go downstairs and you know what? Mommy's gonna cook food too. Mommy is going to clean out spoiled food because apparently there's spoiled food in here while Daddy is cooking. And then, oh good, food. Oh, eat tofu tacos. Tofu tacos? I don't know why I call them tofu ta- No! He only made himself one serving. <laughs> no! I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so she will, um... No, don't hire staff. Cook a grand meal. 
cook. Um, let's have her cook. Is this, that is not, I'm looking for things that are vegetarian safe. Mac and cheese. Ooh, tofu with pork. Yeah, let's do a party serving of that just because we need to have food in this house. <laughs> like, we need to have food. So look, he's eaten. It's great. And then he can go to sleep. But girl, I know you're frustrated. I know you're frustrated, but you're going to cook and you're going to eat and it's going to be great. I need to eat as well too soon because it's getting late and I have not eaten my dinner yet. Just so you know. Man. Tablets are like... Great. Wait. He's expected at work for his next shift after his family leave, but they haven't had the kids yet. But... How can she be a work? They haven't even had family leave yet. What? Well, that's dumb. I think I'm going to also have to rearrange some stuff again. Because I think that this is probably going to end up becoming the, the, the downstairs kids room. In short order. Or I could, I could technically get rid of this bathroom. Because we, do we really need a bathroom downstairs? Yeah, I mean... We probably do need a bathroom downstairs. I think we're going to have to do some maybe reworking things because I could extend it out here. I could. Hmm. We're going to have to play with it. We're going to have to play with it. Maybe we could extend the bathroom over so that way then like it could become like a master, master slash hall bath and split this into two rooms. I don't know, because I, I do like having the downstairs office, but, well, I mean, that's a, that is a, a bridge we're going to cross in a little bit. Oh my god, why did she not eat anything? Like, get leftovers. You made that food and then you didn't actually do anything with it. Yeah, so, like, eat your food, and then use the toilet, and then we need to have some fun somehow. How can we have fun? Uh... We could play some video games. Or video, video games are no more fun. Why are you sad? Well, I, yeah. No. What? But it's tofu. Oh. Tofu with pork. Yeah. I didn't read that part. It was tofu with pork. Um. Sorry. I like how she's all of a sudden very confident. Like, I'm confident that I just ate meat. Like, I kind of wish, like, as a vegetarian, that you, you could, like, turn off the ability to cook yourself non-meat foods. Like, okay, we need to... Uh, yeah, I completely didn't realize. Oops. Maybe with fresh ingredients skill... No, we don't need to... We don't need to use fresh ingredients. Like, I wish there was a way that we could be like, hey, look, just show me the vegetarian stuff. So you know what? Let's just let's just make some chips and salsa and a family serving. Oh wait, no, she doesn't need to cook right now because she's she's tainted with meat. <laughs> How are these kids doing? Okay, he's gonna have to poop soon. And he's hungry. Oh my gosh. So you know what? Actually, yeah. Girl, no. No. Come over here. I need you to serve breakfast. Fruit salad. Because we're going to have our cooked fruit salad. And that way then we can leave it with the kids. So the kids can eat their own food. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so she... Another person passed away. I can't believe... Wait... She has to go to work? Like, really? She hasn't even given birth yet. That's not fair. They're probably just like, oh my god, you're always on family leave. You're just always popping those kids out. What is wrong with you? And she's like, I want a big family, okay? All right, so here we go. Yeah, I know you're tired, but we can't worry about that yet. Because now we need to take this food up to the kids so that they can eat. Just gonna leave this here and stop and stop and each of you grab a serving grab a serving it's for you what do you need um she's not having any fun whatsoever 
Um, really quick, let's have her watch some, you know what, play darts. Practice your darts, why not, while the kids are eating, because then once the kids are eating, he's going to have to poop, and she's going to need to sleep. Generally speaking, I actually, you know what, I don't need you anymore, you can actually go to sleep now. Is she in third trimester yet? Oh, she's just now entering the third trimester. God, I feel like she's been pregnant forever. Okay, and now we can actually put this back in her inventory. And put it down in the refrigerator. Huzzah! There we go. Because the thing here is, is that now that she has had her food, she's tired, she can go to sleep. He knows how to go potty. Finally, Shahrazad can now take family leave. Go okay, good. Why are you angry? From low energy. Okay, well then guess what? Like, why did you not eat? No, 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 no. Wake up and eat. Wake up and eat. Then you can go to sleep. As for this kid, poop, and then you can sleep. It's a process, kids. I know. Get used to it. This is your future. This is your life. Oh, no, you don't need to pee. You're fine. I know you need amusement. I'm sorry, but there's no time for amusement. Go to sleep. Why are you sitting on your brother's bed? Like, he needs to, he's going to need to sleep in a hot second. You're going to have to get off of that. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do to, like, make this, like, I'm hoping... What I'm thinking is, if whatever the baby is, if it's a girl, then we'll put the girls together in a room. If it's a boy, we'll put the boys together in a room. But I think the the solo child will get the downstairs room, and then the 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 either that no, I think there's the upstairs. The, this this room I think is smaller. I know, I know you're tired. I know, I know. So you know what? Um, screw your sister. Sleep in your sister's bed. And you, since you won't get out of your brother's bed. We'll sleep in your brother's bed. Can you potty? You can't go potty yet. I don't know if her parents have ever actually put her on the potty before. Oh, you need to clean this, though. I know you're tired. Look, just go to sleep, okay? Just do your thing. Go to sleep. Oh, why am I going to put myself through this all over again? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I meant to grab... No! What are you doing? Not, what, what, am, what am I doing? What are you doing and what am I doing? Why is she... No, go to sleep. See? See I'm trying to grab... There we go. Sleep. Right? Get... Crawl under the covers and go... To, there you go. Took long enough. Alright, so he has to go to work soon. And, like, thankfully, oh, he has to create paintings. Not, he has not painted in so long. So let's just really quick, um, classic painting. Oh, nope, he's going to work. Never mind. Never mind, he's off to work. So now it's just mommy and the kids and everybody sleeping, which is good. I don't mind that. Not one bit. Okay, so is she going to have to go to work? Is she not going to have to go to work? Because I just got a notification that said that work starts for her in an hour, but... I also got a notification from yesterday that said that she was going on family leave because she is in her third trimester. Baby is coming, like, any old time now. Any old time. I like how the, uh, from trying for baby is the reason that these pregnancy things show up for them. It's like, tee hee, yeah, that's right, you tried for baby and it worked. All right, let's get you leftovers and, um, no. Why are they sending her to work? Look at her. She's gonna pop. Why is this happening? Game, why you glitch like this? Game, why? I know that, like... Okay, send to daycare, I guess. Ugh. 
And of course, Kengo swipes another object. And he got promoted? But he didn't, like, do anything. Like, he didn't really do anything. Okay. How are the kids? Kids read daycare all day. How are the kids? Oh, she is filthy. Give this kid a bubble bath, please, and thank you. Gosh, what level is he in the career now? Four? Okay, that's... For some reason, I thought he was higher than that. I feel like he just got, like, a promotion on, like, a last episode or the episode before, maybe. All right, for once, we're going to have him not play with the tablet. There are some toys that uh, they, they got via the mail. So, um, you know, have him play with a superhero. Why not? Physical toys. Imagination. Wee! For her, once she is nice and bathed up, guess what? Time to go back to bed. Because she is still tired. And him, he has to pee. And he's also tired. And he's hungry. Jeez, this kid is a pain. Is she hungry too? A little bit. But she's more tired than hungry. Just kind of like lining everything up here. There we go. What a cutie. All right, so we're all nice and quiet and taking a nap. And Ken goes awake. He's exhausted, but he's also getting kind of hungry. And Scheherazade is home, so you know what? We're going to have him um, serve dinner. Let's have him make... Is fish tacos? No. We're going to have him make a tofu tacos so that they're around in the house. Meanwhile, she is in desperate need of some fun. So we're going to have her play a video game really quick, and then she's going to go to sleep. But she is in desperate, desperate need of fun. Also, I have no idea how episode, how long this episode is because I spent a big chunk of the beginning of it uh, editing the graveyard. So, like, I don't want to end too early. But, oh, girl, what? Oh, man. She is sick. Somebody has medication. Does she have the medication or does he have the medication? Dang, I don't see the medication anywhere. Somebody has medication. I thought, I thought she had it. Dang it. Is it in the, oh, poor thing. She is sick. Okay. Is it in the regular inventory? I know there was medication somewhere. There it is. Okay. So she needs to take this because she is sick and that's not good to be sick. I mean, oh, she's got like, does she have the dots on her face sickness? Like, I think I kind of see it down here, but I don't see it on her actual face. Alright, kids are still good. Kids are getting hungry, but that's okay, because when they wake up, I'm just going to put the plate there, and they're going to take it themselves. Fend for yourselves early on, kids. <laughs> Alright, he's eating. She's getting her fun up, though not very quickly, but it is what it is. Wow, that was pretty pathetic. A group of annoying teenagers that joined the online match were laughing at how bad Scheherazade was the whole time. Wait, did she... Did, what was that? Uh, yay, the medication was successful. That's good. Uh, I'm going to delete all that. She's going to go to bed. I'm going to get that fruit salad out of here. Uh, open. Is it still two servings of fruit salad left? Six servings of fruits held the full pardon me. Alright, let us Oh, I'm gonna wait until the kids are uh, well no, the kids are like gonna starve if I don't do something really fast. So let's just really quick um open bring this out, put that there, put that there. Rise and shine, wake up and eat. Both of you. There we go. 
Oh, he's tired. He is having no fun once again. So just use the toilet and go to sleep. Peter should be growing up momentarily. I mean, it's pretty late at night. I think the day is his birthday, right? Like today's his age up day. So zero days until age up, but he's not doing the whole bubbly glow thing. All right, so that is done. Oop, went wrong direction. Boom. There we go. The kids are talking to each other. That's fine. No, wherever you want to go, Arthur, I'm not going. He just always wants to go out, Arthur does. Okay, I think this is probably where we're going to end this episode at this point. Just because, oh, I don't know who you are. See, all these people's spirits are fading away. But I can't do anything because I don't know where any of their urns are when they died. Because so when a sim dies, kind of wherever they are, they just leave an urn behind. Not like in Sims 3, where you just went to the the cemetery and it was in the cemetery. Like it was in like the little cathedral place of the cemetery or, or town hall. I forget where it was, but you could just go and pick up people's tombstones. Celebrate by throwing a rocking party? Mm, I don't think that I have the energy for a rocking party. Uh, what now? Are you okay? Oh, she's got to pee. I know you got to pee. Okay, well. Oh. In case that person was pregnant. Oh, hey, Ariana Murray. Finally got married. Our old neighbor. Just going through all these. See, that seems much more like a much more acceptable balance, but... I am delaying this. This is going to be the end of this episode. And um, next episode, we're going to have more babies. And we're going to have, we're, like, we're going to get rid of this baby because this baby's going to become a kid. But we're going to gain at least one more, if not more, babies. So place your bets now on what's going to pop out.